Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're tying Bar's Tongue Teaser, one of our most effective nymph patterns we've ever used. I've got a Tiemco 3761 in the vise. Start with a tungsten bead on the hook. Lay down a base layer of thread. I'm using 70 denier. I'm going to tie in two white biots for tails. Two stripped goose biot tails right at the back of the hook. Position them one on either side of the hook. You can tie them in one at a time if you like. If you want to save a little time, you can tie them in both at the same time. Once those are tied in the way you like it, Wrap up the hook shank, covering up the goose biot so you have a nice even underbody. And we'll tie in our ribbing material. Use copper wire, you can also use gold wire. Tie that in at the front of the hook and wrap to the back. Next, we'll dub our body using Arizona Peacock Dubbing. You can either use the bronze peacock or original peacock color. It can be a little tricky to dub since it's a short staple dubbing, but just use small amounts at a time, and it makes it more manageable. If you try to use too much, it's hard to work with. Rib to the front of the body with your wire. You get to the front of the hook, tie off your wire. Either break or trim off your excess. Now we're going to tie in a strip of pearl flashaboo behind the bead. Wrap back, and then we'll tie in thin skin for the wing case. This is a mottled thin skin. You can vary these colors up a little bit, but this is a kind of a mottled gray thin skin. Next, we'll dub the thorax. Creating a nice, thick thorax. Finish up behind the bead where we'll tie in some legs. Use partridge feathers here for the legs. You can also use India hen. India hen might be a little more durable, but if you've got partridge that will work. What I've got is a partridge feather with the center part of the feather, the tip, trimmed out. So you get two bundles of legs that you can tie in all at once. So each clump extends on either side of the thorax and then just pull it to length making sure the clumps are even. Trim off your excess. You've got your two sets of legs. Pull your thor your wing case over the thorax and then your flashback over your wing case. Tie both of those down. I like to fold them back and put in a few thread wraps before trimming off the excess. Try to get as close as you can with that. Trim off your excess. Next we're ready to whip finish. Whip finish behind the bead. And then finally we're going to put some epoxy or in this case I'm going to use liquid fusion for the wing kit. 
for the epoxy back on the wing case. Put a fairly good sized blob of that liquid fusion because as it dries it's going to shrink down. I'm Hans, thanks for watching. This was the Bars Tongue Teaser. Check out our other videos at our website.